Hi, welcome back to our channel. My name's Jelly and Little Moon. She's gonna go and uh, discover the world here in a second. <laughs> so I'm grateful that you're here. We're gonna continue with each day new beginning at Daily Reflection. It's February 10th. And so uh, it starts off with a quote from Charlizetta Waddles. And it says, God knows no distance. God knows no distance. As close as our breath is the strength we need to carry us through any trouble time. But our memory often fails us. Um, we try alone to solve our problems, to determine the proper course of action. Alone, we try. And so we stumble. In time, we will turn automatically to that power that's available. And whatever our need, it will be met. It will be what we want in our imagination, but it'll be um, what we need. And so uh, it says relying on God, a higher power. However, we understand God's presence. Um, is foreign to many of us. So we were encouraged from an early childhood to be self-reliant, right? Even when we were desperately needing another's help, we feared asking for it. So when confidence wavered, as is or too often did, right? We hit our fear, sometimes with alcohol or drugs or food or work, you know, trying to squash those feelings. Sometimes we simply hid at home, isolated, and our fears never fully abated. They never went away. So finding out as we all have found that we have never needed to fear anything, that God was never distant. It takes time to sink in. And slowly and with practice, it will become natural to turn within, to be God reliant uh, rather than self reliant. Whatever our needs today, our higher power, God of our own understanding, is the answer. So there is nothing to fear. At last, I have come to know God of my understanding, my higher power. All roads will be made smooth. Having faith, having the belief in that is pretty powerful for me. Uh, it has been epically powerful for me in the last three years plus and staying um, abstinent has been integral part of of doing that because I can stay present because if I fall into those habits that aren't serving me in my mind in my in my body and my spirit my soul then I can rely on my on my my distorted thinking from growing up in an alcoholic home. Um, you know, like when you're not sure what you're supposed to do, like as a child, like you know, for me, like what, like I would get made fun of if I was asking for help. I'd be like, oh, aren't you, is it, oh, you need help now, blah blah blah, because I'd always like want to try to do it like a big girl you know, and do things. But then when I really needed help, like for instance, I, there's a time I had frostbite on my feet. You know, yes, I did go out and shovel snow when I was 16. Um, I remember I got frostbite because I wanted to go out. I wanted to use the car because I was driving and there was a party and, you know, trying to connect with friends. And so, um, my parents, uh, my mom, 
specifically said, well, if you want to go out, you have to shovel the drive. Well, we lived in a driveway that was pretty far in. It was a carport too. So I shoveled all the way so that I can pull out. I pulled out backwards. But I was not in the proper shoes. I didn't have um, the proper shoes at that time, as I remember. I was wearing uh, canvas tennis shoes to shovel a good 500 feet. You know, it was probably, it was the width. <laughs> we had a brand new blue Chevy Chevette. And it sounded like a tin box when you shut the door, but it was a stick shift. It was how I learned how to drive. So it was the width of a Chevy Chevette. So I don't know how wide that is. Four feet. <laughs> probably more than that like two four maybe five feet wide I don't know but I remember yeah I can hear the the the, the snow crunching underneath the tire you know as I got out I mean I had a good time that night because I was probably drinking or something yeah I know I was drinking that night and you know you get all kinds of uh false uh well, yeah, I had a lot, I had fun. I mean, I only remember parts of it. I remember that specific part, like digging myself out of that. But the day after I was at school and all of a sudden, like my feet started just aching so bad that I buckled over and was crying. Like I couldn't like understand why or how my feet hurt so bad, like, like, have you ever had frostbite? Oh, so I called my mom and she's like, I can't pick you up. I'm at work, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, all right, I'm going to, I really need my dad. You know, finally, he, this will be the moment because I felt so vulnerable and I never asked him for things like that before because he always kind of made fun of me, like teased me a little bit. And, um, oh, no, like, so I called him and he's like, okay, I'll come and pick you up. But it was sort of like awkwardly put out at least. Um, but I was like, oh, he picked me up. I was so happy. And he sat me down, um, uh, brought me to his house. My parents weren't married. And um, he sat me on, I remember it was a chaise lounge. And he's like, just sit there. And what the heck's the matter with you? What did you do? And I told him what I did. And he was like, well, that, you know, he was like giving me a hard time about it. I'm sure he was worried. I mean, I don't know. He picked me up, which was really great. But I felt really bad because he was really, he was like, you know, I don't have all this time. You shouldn't be doing something like that. And I guess I was expecting him to just tell me, it's okay, sweetheart. Do you need some tea? You know, I would like, I was imagining that, but I knew like it never showed that to me before. Why would it change? But I was just thinking, darn it. <laughs> so that's one of the reasons why I stopped asking for help because I, I just was like, I'm not asking these people <laughs> for help. So, you know, when you stop trusting, yeah, you didn't, I didn't really, you know, so then I was like, well, I don't want to ask anybody else because if my family, you know, is put out by this, like, well, why would anybody else want to do that? Yet, um, yeah, but I changed that. I do ask for help, not as often as I, I probably could do. So I, I'm just thinking about that. I'm going to call my sponsor. I'm going to call my friends that I haven't seen for a minute and start showing up. But today I did go to yoga, which was great. I did show up for it. I signed up. I was invited. And I at first was like resistant to the idea of waking up early on a day off. And I thought, well, let me see what that looks like. So I was there and I did, I felt good. Like I did as much as I could. And I did the modifications for my level because you don't know what your body, you have to like 
be able to listen to your body. So, and um, anyway, yeah, asking for help is, is really good. And when this reads about like, God knows no distance. So for me, God is today. It, it's, I guess it changes a lot for me, but today God is a connection between you know when i when i i'm working on my relationship with my higher power as a loving caring nurturing um presence in my life that i can connect with it it's like it's like a string from my heart to the universe and that is a it's able to communicate to me through my heart and I'm able to communicate to it through mine. And um, it's like, as long as I keep that communication open, then I'm nurtured. And so is the universe that's around. So um, I don't know, that just came out. So it says finding out as we all have found that we have never needed to fear anything we're okay right today we're okay right now no matter what's going on I heard a lot of things in the meeting today about people suffering from bad health and their family members like really like, ugh, like gripping hard stuff you know but we're all showing up for each other and then sharing that so that we don't have to ever be alone again and um, slowly with practice, it will become natural to turn within, to be God reliant rather than self reliant. Because on our own accord, for me being on my own accord, I will have a distorted thinking. I'll have a higher expectations for people, places, and things, and then become disappointed when, if I can keep connected to my higher power with prayer and meditation and sitting here reading with you, Yeah, listening, pausing, asking how important is it so that I don't jump into uh, a pool of egos, whether that's with colleague, family member, a teenager. Uh, a coworker, a parent, uh, someone that's maybe was in the, was a neighbor at one point, and you're getting their mail for them because they just moved, and then you feel like, oh, maybe they they're mad at me, and that's why they didn't miss, you know, like instead of going through all that. Like just not busying myself with with thoughts that can harm feel, filling me and feeding fear that I'm not good enough or um, I don't fit in because those are all deep seated fears that aren't true. So anyway, I love you guys. Thanks for asking about the art behind me. Yes, that's mine. And I'll, they're all back here. It's hard to see, but sometimes I move around. Yeah, I brought some of the stuff in. Those are paintings that were at the gallery that is not open right now. But yeah, I did this. I did it with a really cool red frame. I like that. The two opposing fish. It reminds me of Pisces, where they're swimming in opposite directions. Yeah. 
And um, today the moon is in Libra. So it's about um, balancing our emotional uh, expressions and uh, you know, focusing on relationships and um, you know, not, um, not anything um, less or anything more is what it is so and um with that go ahead and um start saying our prayers but before that i want to say um just for today i will be humble i will give my shortcomings to a power greater than myself and trusting that doing so can bring about changes in me that i could not bring about myself Change, courage to change, right? So speaking of that, all the readings, uh, there's many books on this channel so far. Uh, courage to change, one day at a time in Al Anon. Uh, Hope for Today, A Course in Miracles. They're all 365 days of those readings are up here. There's also um step one, so paths to recovery. There's step one, two, and three so far. Yes, step four and beyond are the work parts. So yeah, we'll do those too. And um, I'd like to hear in the comments what you would like to hear, if there's any books that you have in mind, or if you'd like me to paint or um, do some astrology readings, um, I do those as well. And um, I'm just trying to find my focus. There's a lot going on. As always, life has a lot of lifey things going. I'm loving my my new job and it's going really well. People there are wonderful and supportive and yeah, connect worthy. That's for sure. And um, let's see, what's the card today? Oh, the high priestess. These are the Visconti deck, so the, and they're gold. They have like a gold lame to it. I really love them. Visconti tech deck is the um, one of the oldest decks that um, they used this as playing cards at one point. So it's all uh, major arcana, which are twenty, the first twenty-two cards of the deck, and they're very powerful. But High Priestess is learning more. She has a book in her hand with the cross, and she's just. She's wonderful too. Very um, creative being, connecting to our higher power gives us a lot of power in life. Good willpower. All right, so God, let's take a nice deep breath in and out and settle in. God, we offer ourselves to thee to build with us and to do with us as thou wilt. Relieve us of the bondages of self so that we may better do with thy will. Take away our difficulties so that victory over them bear witness to those we would help with love and power and way of life. So may we do thy will always and grant us the serenity to accept the things that we can't change, to have the courage to change the things we can and the wisdom to know the difference. So God's will not ours be done. And keep coming back. It works if you work it because you're worth it and you're loved. And I love you and we'll see you soon. God willing, tomorrow. Yeah. Bye, you guys. See you soon. Thumbs up. See you.